Hello everyone. Thank you for watching my videos. I made a video and th actually this one here would be almost like a part two of the one that um, I did earlier. Charles T. Russell was claiming that um, the sun, the moon, and the stars and the other galaxies was created before what the Bible says, the heavens and the earth. And he claimed that the reason why earth didn't have no light on it is because they had so many rings around it that sunlight could not penetrate the atmosphere. So on this video, it's really, really amazing. Um, Charles D. Russell is going to have a ch short speech, and then what it's going to be about, it's going to blow you away. So here he is, why he's going to be announcing it's other galaxies, planets, and Jehovah which says, please listen very close, because this is your story that going out to all the planets and all the galaxies, every person or being that lives on other planets, this is going to be your story about planet Earth and it's going to reach out to all these other planets and galaxies. Jehovah Witnesses is the only survivors of Armageddon. So let's see what Pastor Russell says and you hear his own voice about people living on other planets in other galaxies. So, here we go. The forest and ages to come. With the close of the thousand years of the Messianic Kingdom, the great mediator will deliver over the kingdom to the Father. The Father will not receive the human family to eternal life without first giving them a test along the lines of strict obedience to his will. Satan will be loose for a little season to demonstrate who are absolutely loyal at heart and not merely obedient for the sake of policy. Those who then fail will be destroyed with Satan in the second death. Thus the earth will be absolutely cleansed. Then every creature in heaven and earth will exclaim, Blessing and honor and glory and power be unto him that sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb forever. Then there shall be no more sickness or dying. The former things of sin and death will have passed away. Nor will the glory of Christ and the church end with the restoration of mankind. Not only do the scriptures tell us that under Christ every knee shall bow, both of things in heaven and things on earth, but that in the ages to come, God will show the exceeding riches of his grace and his loving kindness toward us, the church, in Christ Jesus. As God made not the earth in vain, but to be inhabited, this same principle doubtless applies to the other planets of our solar system and to one thousand millions of other worlds of which astronomy tells us. They are all to be people, and the things learned in the sin experience of our earth are to be their instruction. It is the divine decree that the Logos shall be the honored agency through whom all creative work shall be accomplished in the future, as in the past. And his church, his bride, will be with him in all his glorious hereafter. Truly ours is a great God, worthy of worship, obedience, love. Only the foolish can say in their heart, there is no God. Who shall not reverence thee, O Lord? When thy righteous acts are manifest. So you just heard he mentioned Jehovah Witnesses from your teaching that God created other humans in other galaxies 
before the earth. So my uh, my question is, in which I was asked a question by a sister. Her husband was taking me to Kimho. Is there life in other galaxies? And you know what I said to her? If there was life before the earth was created in our solar system, Satan the devil would have been on those planets in those galaxies and he would not have been here on earth and he would not have deceived our Adam and our Eve. So that proves one thing. One, uh, Jehovah's Witnesses' teaching with Charles T. Russell must have been a lie because if Earth was the first creation of the planet that had sustained life and the only one, Satan the devil choose the one that had life on it, not other galaxies that wasn't created till when the sun was created and the moon and stars was created. So that means, Jehovah's Witnesses, you have been lied to again. So does that make Charles T. Russ a crackpot? Uh, does that make our governed body as a crackpot? Because they're making you believe that through them, salvation, eternal life, glorious paradise you will live on. Uh, excuse me, wake up, because true salvation is through our mediator, Christ and he's the one that will give us eternal life. You cannot give eternal life from seven men claiming to be mediator between all the men and women and children all over this planet. And they are the mediators between us and Jesus? John Witten says, you need to wake up and realize you've been scammed. Charles T. Russell was scamming you, the Bible students. And you was being scammed by Judge Rockford when he changed all the teaching from Charles T. Russell's preaching the gospel at that time. That's the reason I'm doing all this photo drama to show you all the things that the Bible students and Judge Rutherford was listening to all this <laughs> horse crap, cow crap, in all these videos that I'm making of Judge uh, Charles T. Russell's bringing out different things about the, his preaching, which they was claiming that everything that he was teaching was the truth. And you see on the back of the truck, or this cart, how you want to look at it? The temple. What, the temple of God? Isn't the lies that he was putting in all this information you're hearing, would that make it the temple of Satan? God don't have thousands and billions of planets out there that has human life on it. If it was, Satan the devil would be on those planets if they was created before the earth. 
Think about it, Jehovah's Witnesses. Satan, the devil, and the demons will be on a different galaxy, different planet, if Pastor Russell was correct. Think about it. Y'all have a nice day, and Jehovah's Witnesses, whatever people's out there on the other planets, only thing they're going to recognize you been deceived by the watchtower and you are the ones that did not make in your paradise. But fortunately, there's no life, intelligent life on other planets. So you're safe on that part. But people like me and others who came out of the watchtower, we know your past. We know your teaching. We know more about your teaching than you do. So you better wake up before it's too late. Thank you and have a nice day.